just ran this kid over and kept going. I don't know what. I don't know what. Yeah, it was uh, it was kind of a, a What's going on here? It's going on. Okay. Uh, have okay. Anybody know this kid at all? No? Uh, information. Did he get hit? Yes, sir. Where'd the guy go? Uh, he's going down the road. Right. Nobody knows the name or anything. Medical history, allergies, nothing. Open tip, Bib. M-A-S-O-N, M-A-T-T-H-E-W-S, and I am the EMS Administrator for San Angelo Fire Department. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and go first. Yeah, um, cool. Um, can you just tell us about, um, just a little bit about what you guys are up to? Yeah, so this is our second year getting to come uh, and uh, participate uh, in the San Angelo State. Um, and it's, you know, anytime that we can show what we're doing, right, what we do as, an, as a fire department, a lot of times I think people think like, oh, yeah, they're firemen, right, we do a lot more than that. Um, it is, we are in healthcare, you know, we're paramedics, right? We run uh, 911 uh, for, uh, the fire trucks cover the city, uh, our EMS system covers the entire uh, county, all of Tonkin County, uh, and we make a lot of ambulance runs uh, daily. Uh, so it's, it's important that, um, especially as these young people are trying to choose a career in healthcare, that you get to see what that looks like. You know? um, I think most of these kids are going to go into nursing school, um, so, you know, they get to see pre-hospital, like, how, what it looks like, what's about to happen. Uh, and in our job in healthcare, it is, it's important to have and show everybody perspectives, right? What does it look like in our world? Because their world in a hospital is going to look really different. Um, so um, anytime we can showcase look, what we do uh, and show how much we love this job and encourage people to, to choose, uh, you know, uh, this profession, uh, we're all for it. So. Well, and you just mentioned a little bit about it. Yesterday they did the air med, today it's y'all. Can you yes, talk sir. about the importance of those different perspectives, how important those different perspectives there are? Absolutely. You know, and I, and I started and I always tell uh, young people that are, are looking in, at healthcare as a career option, you're always going to have a job. You know, that's the great thing about it is, um, is there's so many avenues. You could do pre-hospital. You could, whether that's in an ambulance or riding in a helicopter, uh, then you can do in hospital. Uh, there's administration. There's all these different um, there's so many options uh, when you do choose healthcare. Uh, it's so important, right? You're dealing with, uh, you know, there's never, you know, people are always going to get hurt, people are always going to get sick, um, and uh, and this is, it's just, it's needed. Um, you know, I, 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 there's a lot of our firefighters that have worked in air med as well, you know, so, you know, you, you see this cross, these, this cross, uh, uh, you know, intertwining of, you know, we have medics that work at the hospital, they're also nurses, right? Some of the nurses work in EMS. So, I mean, there's all this big, you know, mingle of, of all the different areas. Um, and we're just, we love any any opportunity that we can get in front of young people and say, hey, this is what we do, this is what it looks like, because you know, we're we're trying to build, you know, the next workforce, right? We're not gonna work here forever, right? And there's gotta be people that are interested in this because it's needed. 911 is never gonna go away, so. Um, for the students that may be on the fence about doing the EMT, EMS route, what, what do you say, what do you enjoy the most about the route? Absolutely, so the adrenaline. You know, I was telling those guys, um, these, these kids, you know, they asked, well, what's the craziest call that you've gone to? You know, it, when you think about that you can show up to work at 7 a.m., right, and possibly go on a cardiac arrest, right, where someone's leaving this world, right, you show up and we do the best we can. Sometimes there's a good outcome, sometimes there's a bad outcome. The next call is someone's broken their leg, and then the third call is, someone's having a baby. If you think about that, before 10 o'clock, you haven't even had breakfast. You've gone from, from the, you know, the drastic difference between someone leaving the world, someone's life changing forever, and then a brand new life starting, you know, and that, and it's not even breakfast, that puts this job in, you know, what it's like in a nutshell. And when you think of it that way, why would you want to work anywhere else in my opinion? I mean, that, that is, I mean, the adrenaline is just crazy. Um, and it's just really important, right? People's lives are going to be changed forever, whether it's they're hurt, they're sick, right? The, the ripple effect that that has on someone and their family. Uh, and you've got, you're right front and center, right? You're right front and center and having an effect on it. So, pretty cool. Well, you mentioned it before we started rolling, but you said that these, these campers have some great questions. Yes. What's what's just one thing that you hope, if anything at all, they walk away with after this experience? You know, one is a respect for what we do. I, I think that sometimes, you know, uh, our job gets portrayed in the media and on shows, and, you know, it's very dramatic, right? This is a very dramatic career field, uh, EMS and, and fire. Um, but, you know, 
I love how pointed their questions are. It's not just like, oh, do y'all do this at the, at the station? No, they want to know what's the crazy stuff you've been to, right? What, what, what happens when you show up and, and, you know, a mom or dad's asking about their kid or, you know, or it is a kid and the kid can't tell you what's wrong, you know, or the person's unconscious and they can't even tell you what's wrong. How do you get there? How do you figure that out? That is, that's some pretty advanced questioning, you know, and I think it, it speaks volumes that, uh, you know, why they're here, what this camp does, right? What their mind frame, why, why they're in this camp. They're not just, they're not just here because it's summer and there's nothing to do, right? They're here because, hey, I've, I want to do this, you know, and I want to be in that career field, and they're trying to find out as much as they can. I think that's pretty, pretty impressive. So, so you yeah. have a lot of hope for the, for the future. I do. Of, I do. Uh, of this, of this I field. absolutely do. You know, what, what, what's really uh, promising, I would say, uh, I do a lot of the recruiting for Snazzle Fire Department as well, so I get to be in front of young people a lot. I, I love, you know, um, as we all know, right, trades and services are, you know, a big deal right now, and there is absolute, you know, how do I get to you and get to work? Uh, that is that is very uh, encouraging. Uh, so uh, I do. I see a lot of young people going, "Hey, I, you know, healthcare is awesome. You can, you're always going to have a job. How do I get there? You know." So I do. I think it's very. There's a lot of promise for the future. So. I was wondering about education. Do they have an ASU bachelor's degree? Yes. Do they have to go through more training to be in the university? They do. Uh, you know, so uh, you, you have to go through uh, paramedic school. Uh, now, San Angelo Fire will train you to do so. Um, you know, so if you apply, we'll put you through fire school, we'll put you through paramedic school, and you come out on the other side with the highest level of fire certification you can have and the highest level of EMS certification you have. Um, not everywhere is like that, but uh, San Angelo Fire is. Uh, and that's something we worked really hard as a department, is we want you to show up and we want to mold you into what, what we think you need to be and what's going to make you successful to serve our citizens. Oh, you're about to go in and give a CPR demonstration. I am. Yeah. I am. Can, we, can we talk about that a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely. so valuable. It's huge. You know, if you think about it, it's the worst call you can go to. The worst call you can go to is someone who's not breathing and their heart's not beating, right? Um, it's also usually the one that's got the, the volumes turned up the highest, right? For the people that are around, clearly the person that, that, that's involved or, or is affected by it, volume can't get any higher, right? What I really like about this uh, hands-only CPR program, and we get to teach this at schools, it's now required uh, for kids to graduate high school, um, is, you know, it takes the worst possible thing that can happen in our society, which is someone, you know, someone's heart's not beating, and it gives the lay person this confidence of, I really don't know much, but I know how to do that, right? And when you think about it like that, that's good for everyone. If we can go out into our community and give everybody that training, none of us need to worry, because that means we're gonna get the best chance for a good outcome right and all you're really doing is bridging that gap between it happening and then 911 actually arriving someone's got a call and all that stuff and when we get here we're going to do a great job well what's happening in that gap right and that's what's so big about this is we're trying to build a resiliency within our community um, to bridge that gap so. my name is Tanisha T-A-N-I-S-H-A last name Ganata G-A-N-A-T-R-A uh, Cora C-O-R-A Bush, B-U-S-C-H. Okay, and then can you tell me how, where y'all are from, how y'all ended up here, and uh, what y'all think about today's event? Uh, I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I heard from my teacher that this is a good camp, so she recommended it to me, and I <laughs> like coming here. Um, I'm from up in New Braunfels, and my school counselor heard about the camp, and she emailed parents of students she thought would like to go, So, and my mom just sent me up, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got the airmen people and the EMTs to come and it was kind of cool to see how like a real life situation would be like. Like it's definitely different from learning from the textbooks. Like just seeing how this plays out in real life is like gives you more exposure. Like okay this is what you're going to do in your career. Um, I really like seeing how things like actually like play out or how they'll actually happen rather than like again like she said like reading from a textbook is kind of odd because you don't really get to see it happening you kind of have to like fit stuff in different places and I want to go into like NICU nursing so I think that'll definitely help with more like hands-on experiences. Okay. So are y'all interested in a career field like EMTs and EMS and stuff like that? Probably somewhere in the medical field so like just getting more exposure to like coats. Yeah something working with pediatrics but. Okay. Um, and then what's the next you guys can't be on though? Uh, I think we're gonna do CPR next. Yeah, like I think we're getting CPR board. certified today. How long has the course been going for? It's been like uh, the camp course, like three. I think this three, is our third day. This is our third day. Okay. What, what, what's y'all's favorite part so far? The uh, sim lab. 
I like the airmed people. Is that what you found the most interesting too? Uh, I think yeah, like the stuff where the, like the EMTs come and the airmed people, like that was really fun because like, again, like it's really cool. Yeah. Are y'all thinking about a uh, education here at ASU or? What do you think? I'm thinking. Yeah. For me, I feel like it's pretty far from home, so like I'd probably go to like UT. Um, this is the only college I actually have like experience like going to or anything like that, so I'm definitely thinking about it. Yeah, but it's pretty far from home.